guys uh, welcome back so uh, in the previous video we have seen how to build a uh, API I mean a custom backend and in this video we are going to build uh, no we are going to deploy our API to data okay let's see how we can deploy our API to data okay first of all let's go to our documentation and we have can see the deployment section here and here we need to select the deploy fast API on data you can read more details about data in this section but we are not going there okay we have already built our API now it's time to deploy it okay there is a reason why I uh, kept the main.py and the requirement.txt in the same uh, directory grammarly clone because it's need to be like that in order to in order to uh, uh, deploy it into, into, into the, the, the data okay first of all we need to create a free data account so for the linux we can just copy this and paste it in the uh, terminal for windows you need to copy this okay i have already done this but i will show you how to do this okay therefore let's copy that and we need to open our powershell windows powershell and paste it here Let's wait for a sec. You know it's writing request stream. Okay, I have already installed the data. It's showing data was installed successfully. Oh uh, yeah, I have already installed it. Uh, okay, like now let's go to the next part and we need to check that data is correctly installed or not let's check it in our terminal uh, let's check it data help okay our data is correctly installed okay now we can deploy our uh, API into data to do that we need to go into our grammarly clone folder where our main.api and requirement.txt is and let's go the cd grammarly clone inside the we need to uh, type data login okay uh, now let's do it data login okay it will open our browser and it tells us to log into the data let's wait for it okay i have already uh, sign up sign up uh, i mean i have already made account in data that's why it's automatically signing me up uh, signing in me up into the data into into my account if you are new it will uh, give us uh, the uh, 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 screen to sign up into data okay uh, after sign up in we can see login in successful after you uh, log into uh, data successfully okay after that we need to deploy that uh, data the command for deploying data is data new okay now let's do that data new and now our API is going to be deployed into data. Okay, successfully created a new micro. Adding dependent dependencies. That's our requirements. Let's wait for it. Okay. Uh, now it's done. Now let's check our data. Let's refresh it. I have already deployed two APIs into data. That's why it's showing app and ginger it in the app uh, micros okay now you can see the grammarly clone okay now it's successfully deployed into the to the data that's all okay now let's check it you can see a link here click that and it will okay it's showing not found we need to go into our docs we can actually use docs in here too not only in the local, you can use docs here too. Docs and 
or swagger uh, swagger documentation will open okay now let's try it out let's say buy buy it yesterday it's uh, the grammar is wrong the spelling of yesterday is wrong now let's execute it okay our api is correctly working you can see the result here and the other details like corrections and definition of the, the word okay we have successfully uh, deployed our api into data now we can use this uh, this uh, link to in, in our flutter uh, to connect it with our api okay okay we you can read more about data and first api in this documentation okay uh, enable public access by default data will handle authentication using cookies for your account but once you are ready you can make it public so let's make it public let's it uh, copy that data or disable and paste it here okay successfully disabled http auth okay now we are all set to go and now let's uh, test our api first of all uh, first we can test it on our uh, browser and then we can test it in our uh, thunder client we know thunder client is like just like postman if you you're comfortable with postman you can use it and but i am much comfortable with thunder client that's why i'm using thunder client okay now first of all let's try it in our browser we have already tried the swagger now let's try try direct directly first of all remove these and gave our path Jammerly clone slash now let's say i now coding okay now let's try it i have typed i love coding it's totally spelling mistake now press enter and see whether we get a result or not okay we have we got the response okay i love coding the spelling is corrected here in the result i love coding okay now it's perfectly working now let's try it in the thunder client so let's copy this from here and get a new request here and paste our url here and let's try it out make sure it's get method and let's give another text like uh, i will went to college tomorrow now let's try it okay our i will went to college tomorrow it's the wrong one and the result is i will go to college tomorrow our api is perfectly working our backend is full ready to go now we have successfully built our app backend i mean custom api or custom backend have uh, deployed it into data and we have tested it it's all working perfectly in the upcoming videos we will uh, connect our or integrate our flutter uh, to our custom backend and build our uh, grammarly clone so make sure you are subscribed to our channel and like the video and see you in the next video guys